Still more in there. You want me to shake it a little bit? I'm gonna back up, put it in that next feeder. Okay. Back. We got lots of apples out today. The deer will be happy. I'll hold it. Oh, are you lowering it down? Yeah, I'm putting it down. All right, guys. He's it's holding. It's a while to get it to go down, too. It's slow, real slow. It's an electronic trailer hitch. Jack, and he's holding the control to make it go down. I can keep holding that while you. Well, I gotta stop it in the right spot. If I go too low, oh, I say we'll strip the gears. I did it once already. All right. <laughs> It's slower, I think, going down than it is going up. Probably because there's no weight to push it down right now. That could be. Let's see, it's, uh, she's going down. Another 10 seconds, maybe. Yeah, she's slow to go down. There it is. We got this nice little rig right here. It's up and down on the on the um, you know the body that holds the oats, and the button on this side's for the drill. It's a basically a rigid 18 volt drill with a, a 90 degree angle, and it's hooked to like a four inch auger. That um, the four inch auger is like just something that you drill in the ground with and it's laying sideways. Yeah, I can't quite see the auger. It's inside of like a piece of four inch PVC pipe with holes in it. You probably saw it from the video earlier. He's getting his oats ready for tomorrow. Before he backs in, how much we've used yeah, from the last time we videoed this, this was quite full, but you can see there's a lot gone. He's got his bags on the platform ready for tomorrow. And now he's back in this bad Polaris in. And don't complain about the jittery video because it's I'm holding an iPhone here and it's not a professional camera. He's backed in and I'm walking down and you can see all the deer and we threw out a whole bag of full apples and a couple bags at least of uh, cut up apples in that first feeder. So they haven't even realized that the apples are out there yet, but there's a lot of them out. I'm gonna turn. Well, that's the camera right there for the distant view, mounted right up there on the side of the building, right up above me. And that's basically 
it looking down. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of them in the woods. We can see several, a dozen or so in the woods, plus what's down there. So they'll be happy campers. Well, there'll be over a hundred here today. Probably will. There was darn near that yesterday, wasn't there? Yeah. And with this weather, they may come earlier. They usually don't show up until a little after two, around three now. Yeah. Yeah, gangs of them will come from, from this side of the road. And then other gangs come from, that side. from this side. Just depends on where they go to hang out at night or whatever, but they come from all over. Well, that was uh, ride number two in the Oatmobile. And basically just wanted to show the, I had to adjust a couple of cameras, but I just wanted to show you the mechanisms of the Oatmobile. And I'm gonna flip the camera around, and this is me. And we got Richard standing here. Hi guys. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go up and have a cold one and watch the deer. Yes. Yeah.